think. But Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Let's do this. Chloral levels will lower to a point that renders ground zero obsolete in the near future. I'm queuing up the presentation to make sure everybody remembers the essentials before. Open we fire! Nick, I'm in the harvesting warehouse. Looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. Gotta be something I can use to get up there. Oh, not your average elevator. Jack, I found a bunch of files here about your bro. The monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operations surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep me posted. So this thing at the universe. Okay. It's getting bad. closer, I think. It's real bad. Huh? Now, which Paul's was the drive taking the briefcase from Will's car, dump the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me, said idiot, is it with you? Nick, I gotta go back for it. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence.
Yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was the And it seemed to be the Biox answering. stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. What is this? What the hell? What, is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Me and my grant extended another year. Please, don't do this. Countermeasure. 
I hope to God this works. Will. It's gone. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack. You have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. <gasps> Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking advantage. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. Am I 
ride my music. Deal with it. I love this song. 